Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I have actually sat down to film a video because I am going to be posting a lot more in December. I have got more inspiration back when it comes to filming videos. So please subscribe and stay watching the videos. Is that... Okay, I've just tied my hair up like just to get it out of my face, so I'm sorry if it looks weird. Also, go and grab a drink in a Christmas themed mug. Look how cute and cozy that is. I've got a cup of tea here um, in a mug that my mum actually bought me. I have a lot of Christmas mugs. You will see them throughout December. I have 11, so one in each video. That's 11 videos. I don't even know if I'll be filming 11 videos throughout December, but I have a lot of Christmas mugs. So I'm gonna be sipping this throughout. Today I'm gonna to be filming my kind of everyday makeup look. Now my everyday makeup look changes in a way but also stays the same in other ways. So some days will be very, very similar. So the look I'm showing you today is what I do most often. But the thing that changes with my makeup is my eyeshadow. Everything else is always the same. I always use the same products pretty much. I always have the same lip product. It's my eyeshadow that changes because I like to experiment with different colors, with doing different winged eyeliner, that kind of thing. So when it comes to my eyes, that's different. But I thought in this video, I'll show you what I most commonly do for eyeshadow. Like if I need to be quick and I want it to kind of look half decent then this is what I will do. I'm also going to be testing out a new product that I haven't used yet which is a highlighter and this is from I'm not sure but this is what it looks like anyway I'm not sure how to pronounce that um but it looks pretty nice so we'll test that out a bit later on um because I just fancied a new highlighter. Most of these products I've had for a long while so I don't tend to buy a lot of new makeup. Anyway I'm going to stop chatting because I just feel like I need to like get into the video. First product I'm going to use is my Skin Saints Vitamin C SPF and Moisturiser. So this is a moisturiser and an SPF in one. And the reason why I use this product before my makeup is because it is so important to use SPF every single day, even when it's winter time, because the sun is still in existence, like the sun is still out. I'm not saying you're gonna get burned, but the sun still um, like ages your skin. And it's also a great habit to get into. Like I understand that, you know, you probably don't need to necessarily wear it every single day, but it is a good habit to get into and to have it mixed in with your moisturiser is really handy. I then prime my face with this primer. This is from Wet n Wild and it is the Photo Focus Primer and it's matte. So this is very much suitable to my skin tone, um, sorry, my skin type because I have oily skin. So that is why I use this product. If you don't have oily skin and you have dry skin, this is not a product for you. Um, I've accidentally used too much of this product, but never mind, I'm sure it'll blend in. Um, but I actually really like this. I think it smooths the skin out really nicely and it goes well with the moisturizer I've just used. Moisturizer makes my skin quite greasy, which I don't like but I'm not gonna stop using moisturizer just because my skin goes greasy. I I want to moisturize my skin and I would rather have greasy skin throughout the day than to not moisturize and, you know, end up with my skin being wrinkly when I'm older. The skin is now prepped and ready for makeup. The foundation that I'm using is this one from Wet n Wild. I actually love Wet n Wild as a brand. It's a great brand with a decent price. Like for everything. This is a foundation I've repurchased many, many times. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this is the matte one. I think they do have like a shimmery one as well or more of a kind of glowy one. Um, but this one is the matte one for obvious reasons. My skin is oily. It has this kind of applicator, um, which I really like because it means that you can really kind of focus the product like where you specifically want it. I am kind of running out, um, I need to get another foundation. I switch between two foundations, this one and the Maybelline Superstay foundation. I love that one as well, but that one's a little bit more full coverage, whereas this one's kind of like medium coverage. And I don't know what brush to use to blend it in. I might use this brush just to kind of like blend it in, um, just because it's quite, I don't know, fluffy and nice. Now, I'm not gonna go for amazingly heavy coverage today. I just wanna stick to kind of like a nice 
smooth base. I don't want there to be like loads of coverage, but I will be using concealer. So sometimes I would go in with like a little extra layer, like just wherever there is some blemishes, but I'm not going to do that today because I am just going to go to um, a Christmas, the I'm just going to be going to a Christmassy garden centre and then out for a meal with my family at a casual place by the spoons. So I don't need to like, well, not that you need to cover your face anyway. I don't know why I'm explaining myself. Still a bit. <coughs> In that drink, I must have swallowed some lime scale. I actually probably did. Ew. Fun fact, my mum says she loves the taste of lime scale. Mum, if you're watching, which you probably will at some point, why? Tell us why. Why does it taste nice? It doesn't. That's the fact, it doesn't. Anyway, I'm now going to conceal and I'm using this Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Now this concealer went kind of like viral when youtube was first a thing can you remember when like youtube was just like zoella tanya burr naomi smart like all those like initial like beauty youtubers well this was the concealer that they all used especially zoella and i nearly dropped a brush in my drink i'm a mess um and everyone was obsessed with it because it's really full coverage. It's really nice. I think the reason why people are not like as obsessed with this product like anymore is because it, there's so many more concealers like on the market now that you just don't, you know, you just want to try new things. You don't want to stick to the same one all the time and you don't need to stick to the same one all the time. But I do quite like this one. It is nice coverage. I think the only thing is, is that it, you know isn't as easily blendable as some others that i've used and had but it is quite nice and blendable like i do like it um but if you wanted a full coverage concealer then this is one to go for i mainly use concealer to highlight i don't use it to kind of add coverage to blemishes but it does add coverage um especially like under my eyes i like the fact that it adds coverage like in that area so this is my base now done in terms of foundation. I am now going to apply all of the powders that I would normally apply. The next product I'm using is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is just a nice powder. I really like this. I gravitate to this a lot. Like if I ever run out of a powder that I've used that's different to this, I will always come back to this one. It just mattifies really nicely. It's a decent price. There's no way I would ever not use powder if I make a routine. Like, there's no way that I would ever forget to, to do that because when you've got oily skin, you know the struggles. Okay, powder is done. I also don't powder throughout the day, which is unusual for someone with oily skin. <clears throat> Sorry, more lime scale. Um, it probably is as well. Um, but yeah, I just blot it with a bit of tissue. I blot the oil instead. So I'm now gonna use this contouring palette. So this is from Sleek. Now I'm not gonna show it too much because this is probably like, realistically, this is at least six or seven years old, which I know is bad, but, cause I'm using expired makeup, that's why it's bad. <laughs> But I just, I just have not got around to getting a, like a different contour palette. So maybe for Christmas, I'll get myself a new contour palette because you really shouldn't be using makeup that's like six or seven years old. Bronzer, I'm going to use this, which is also from Sleek, but it is not six or seven years old. This is in the shade, literally, it's still quite old, but only like a year or two. I think it's so sad, like just going back to the whole like YouTuber um, thing, like the uh, original beauty bloggers. I think it's so sad, like how like Tanya Burr like never posts anymore. Like obviously she's got her acting career and I think she lives in like America or something and she just just completely stopped filming. Um, and then there's 
Zoella who doesn't post on her YouTube channel she posts on her vlog channel I don't understand that like can anybody explain like why she does that like why wouldn't she post on her normal one like her main channel with most subscribers the only thing I can think of is that she is now like kind of not separate herself but like Zoella is a brand like that's her brand whereas her, like her vlog channel is herself and that's her vlogs so maybe her channel Zoella um, because it's kind of like considered a brand I don't know like maybe she didn't want to post on it I really don't know but I just think it's such a waste of like how many subscribers is on that channel there's like 10 million subscribers or something um but I guess she has her reasons I was actually watching Naomi Smart this morning as well she's another OG um, YouTuber and she still posts quite often I quite like um, how often she posts and she still acts and seems the exact same as she used to oh yeah I'm also using this blusher which is from Vive and this is in the shade Pesca I like to distribute blush around the entirety of my face so now I'm gonna try my new highlighter so I can give you my first impressions on camera think I'm safe from the lime scale with that one um but this was only a few pounds I got it from Amazon and I just thought it looked like the perfect shade for what I'm looking for and also it looked quite nice so this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the highlighter itself looks like so it's very shimmery very shiny and glowy and if we kind of like swatch the product you can see like how like shiny that is so I'm hoping it comes across because I do have a highlighter currently but it's just not pigmented enough to like show up on my face so I wanted to get something like this so I'm just gonna pop a bit onto the brush I'm not sure how pigmented this will be okay that is quite pigmented I don't know if you can see on camera but that that really glows yeah I'm super happy with that and it's a, such a great shade for my skin tone as well glowy cheeks yeah I love that I haven't finished highlighting I do also highlight around other areas of my face that is my highlighter done I am super happy with how that looks I don't know if that's picking up on camera but in real life like this is just what I've been looking for so I would highly recommend this it's my first impression using this product and I'm so happy with it if you want to go and get it from Amazon it's a great product and I think it looks really nice it was only a few pounds so yeah that's nice I'm so happy with that because I haven't had a highlighter for a long while that I've actually liked so it's now time for eyebrows I've got this spoolie brush which I'm going to use to brush through my eyebrows I would not do my eyebrows without brushing through them if you are wondering where I got this spoolie from I bought a massive pack of them off of Amazon. Amazon just sells everything. I then have this angled brush here and I'm gonna use this pomade, which is from e.l.f. It's just like an eyebrow pomade and I'm not sure what the shade is, but it'll be like brown or something like that. The writing, oh, medium brown. And I'm just gonna sculpt out my eyebrows. I'm not gonna talk whilst doing it because I do like to concentrate whilst doing my eyebrows. So I'm just looking at my highlighter. Can you see the difference between the two eyebrows? You might prefer this eyebrow, but I don't care. I used to do my eyebrows so crazy, like when I was younger, in my like when I was doing my GCSEs and stuff, like my eyebrows looked terrible. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, it's um, written in the description or linked in the description then go and have a check out of my Instagram and scroll back and you will see the worst eyebrows you've ever seen and I did not see it at the time sometimes my eyebrows were like so close it was almost a monobrow like that's the word that I don't even know why I did that like I really don't like yeah yeah we won't talk about that Okay, I think that's okay. I'm kind of looking at my eyebrows and I'm like, I'm not happy with how this one looks. But when I'm not happy with how they look, I just kind of like blur my eyes and just 
don't think about it because no one else is going to notice like as long as they don't look terrible it's fine so for eyeshadow i'm gonna go very simple here now this is when i'm in a hurry and i still want my eyes to look really decent so i'm gonna use this morphe palette this is the 39a palette i've had this for a long time like years so um i just flick between any of these kind of neutral shades but one that i particularly like is this one here so i just take a bit of that product and i just kind of pat it onto my eyelid and then blend it in and i take it quite high up because i quite like my eyeshadow to be seen and i'm going to do the same to the other eye Then I'm going to use more of a kind of angled brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of that underneath my eye. Sorry, I'm looking in a mirror down here, which you've probably already guessed. And then I'm just going to quickly blend that out like this. And that is the eyeshadow done. Very simple, just a plain neutral kind of browny shade, any neutral brown. And now I'm gonna do a little wing. Now, because I do this on a work day and I don't have loads of time, I just do a basic line. Like I don't do a line and then kind of fill it in. I just do a line, literally, you'll see. And that's easy for me. And I don't even care if they're not like the same angle as long as they're not amazingly different angles. I'm happy. Can you see that? Literally just a line. There we go. And this eyeliner is from Sleek and it's a really great eyeliner. If you want an eyeliner that will literally like you have to scrub it to get it off, it's that waterproof, then this is a good one for you because Honestly, this eyeliner would stay on above any other product on my face. It's actually quite annoying. Sometimes I curl my eyelashes, sometimes I don't. I don't think it's vital like for me to do that. But I am going to use some mascara. So this is from Maybelline. This is the Lash Sensational Mascara. And I think this is the waterproof one. I hate waterproof mascara because I struggle to get it off. And I just hate it so much. Um, so I accidentally picked this one up and I will be like purchasing a different one that's not waterproof when this one's run out i like volume as well as kind of length i also focus on the top lashes not the bottom ones especially when i do a winged like liner i will never put a um, mascara on the bottom lash line when i've done a wing so the eyes are now finished so for the lips, I'm going to use a lip liner. This is from, I don't know, but I think this is from W7. I'm not 100% sure. It's rubbed off. And I'm just going to line my lips with this, kind of like a brownie shade. And then I'm going to fill my lips in with this lipstick, which is from Vive. This is a Vive lipstick and it's in the shade 90s which is quite a common one, um, like a popular one, I mean. So I don't actually like swipe this on, I pat it on because I don't want it to be too much. I like to just have a little bit. So this is the overall finished makeup look. This is what I wear to work quite a lot. It's quite quick and easy for me. I know this video is quite long, but this would take me sort of 10 to 15 minutes in the morning if I'm quick. And I enjoy doing my makeup, so I really don't mind. I have never not worn makeup to work because I love doing it and it's part of my morning routine. And it's just part of me, like this is my personality. So give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will do more makeup videos where I do different eyeshadow looks or um, like, more interesting looks but this is kind of like more of like my everyday very wearable look i like the kind of like the wing where it's just a line i think that looks nice you know if you're afraid to do winged eyeliner because you always mess it up or whatever just do a little line you know that looks fine i think you know unless i look terrible i don't know um but yeah 
I can take out this now. I'm probably going to rip out all my hair. Well, there we go. I plaited my hair. If you saw my last vlog, which would have gone up before this video, I think, um, you would see that I plaited my hair the night before. And then I took the plaits out this morning and my hair is very volumized, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I will give it a quick brush through. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.